have our little friend who sneaks in here all the time. <laughs> and Irene's a sucker. Jack. He's a cutie. <laughs> we are trying to get our wood situation organized. Can't stack a bunch of stuff over here because I need to change out the fire bottles at some point. That's the kitchen. And our bedroom is over here. And I don't know, we have to figure this out because it's getting cold. It's really hard work. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's not going through. Go, 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 go. go. Try the next one. This guy? Yeah, just smash him. Oh, look at there. Took a piece off. <laughs> Chopped up a huge pile of fire starter. That should last us for a while, I think. And Irene is the master cutter. <laughs> you got the hand? Yeah, make a little video of it. And right here, this is an old wash basin. If you look in there, you can see the rungs. This is where we would wash clothes. The spring would run down in here. Now it goes over to this big, huge holding tank. This is the holding tank for fish. That's the main house finca, the garage. House here is the casita. Back there's the solar panels and the generator. And there's another set right there that we were working on before. And not from here you can't see, but right through the, oh, look at my cut. Right through there, you can see the ocean. I saw these things and I love it. It looks like a bonsai world. Look how crazy cool. Look at his trunk. <laughs> Spain is supposedly the largest producer of olive oil. 70% of the olive oil is produced here in Spain, if I'm reading that correctly. This is a big olive tree. I was just reading about them. They come into harvest in November through March, depending on the area, the variety, the weather, how the weather is. And supposedly you have to shake. Oh my gosh, they just flew all over the place. So you have to catch them when they fall in like a net. And if you catch them in a net, those are used to make extra virgin olive oil. You need like four to five kilos of olives. So that's like 10 pounds of olives to make one liter, which is about a little bit more than a quarter of a gallon of oil. But I am in love, total love with these. Look at that, money trees. Oh, they're gonna be angry because I'm coming. And look at them up here. Gorgeous. made our first fire in the fireplace that we cleaned. Looking so romantic for Allie. It does. They say it's supposed to be super windy here sometimes. We are hanging curtain rods today because we're trying to block 
colder air coming in. Nice, beautiful sunny day. Look at our tomatoes. Irene is in here. It's Gabriella. Gabriella is painting. Irene is sewing. And then we just hung these curtain rails up. Today I'm going to work on this guy. And we're just going to shape him. I have to say, the one thing that I really love about this place is that you can work in the garden all day and you're never going to run out of something to prune. And I don't know what it is about cutting plants and stuff, but I absolutely love this. So I'm going to clean out this whole spot and then when I'm done with that, I'm going to come around here and I'm going to clean out that whole walkway. Once your bucket's full, you come down here and feed the donks. Yeah, sniffy face. Okay, it's cleaned up. about to do something I've never done before and this is a gigantic muscadine grape. It's going to take quite a bit of work. I'm going to prune first. I'm going to lift him up and over here start to spread everybody a little bit more. So and then when you're done pruning all of your olives, I'm bringing to these guys. Are you sharing today? There you go. Today is Thanksgiving and we are making a green curry. Yes, because the turkey ran off. <laughs> the turkey ran away. <laughs> and became a pet so we couldn't eat it. <laughs> Gabriella is giving us a very special curry that came to her from Bangkok? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. And the dogs are joining us, of course. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> <laughs> Jack is underneath here. Jack. Yeah, what's up, buddy? Dinner's made. Dog family around. Nice music, nice lights, nice food, and good company. <laughs> Perfect. Thanksgiving. We are working on the bird cage. We have a big sheet of polycarbonate. And then we're gonna put up here to replace these windows. So these have to come out and the polycarbonate is going to fit over the top of here. And I've cut out a lip, also a lip down this way. So the top is a little bit bigger than the opening up here. Today we say goodbye to Leo. Everybody's in the windows looking at him. He's moving to the UK. Morta's saying goodbye as well. You can go around. She, she can't walk away. across lines, which is very weird. She can't <laughs> walk here. She won't come. <laughs> we were trying to get Leo and Guapo jumps in. He's like, I'm coming too. Yeah. Okay, there goes yeah, Leo. His, his, his neighbor's not a happy Going neighbor. to the UK. No, no he's had the longest Aww. trip. <laughs> All the way down past Malaga, yeah. Oh, poor, poor little guy. Safe drive. See you, bud. Yeah. Oh my God! Look what I just found in Spain: an entire row of fruit manias. Yes. Today, Gabriel wanted to clean out all this glass front. Had a lot of rotten wood, and uh, now I wanna cut off this but I don't have the right tools so it's time for a Swiss army knife back up on the scaffolding this morning 
and I failed to show what we were doing. So we got the roof in yesterday and, and now the birds have much more. Seal should be good. I have to go around and cut off the excess. Now I'm building this corner out. Drip edge. So I got to cut here. I'm gonna have to do a top cut here and then down here and I gotta bend those out. Front edge looks one solid continuous piece. We finished our lunch and what came to see us. She, yeah, I think I already said, she's afraid of walking across lines so she can't walk across tile. It freaks her out. Here's what we got going on on the back side. Roof is looking good, and the back is chewed out, rotted out, it's real bad. This corner was so incredibly bad that I cut a little piece to fill. A little bit better look and function. Look at what's going on in here. Jackie. Jackie Chan. What you doing, bud? You hanging out with us again tonight? You were looking at Irene, making sure she's cooking good. All right, it's starting to get cold outside. It's supposed to go down into single digits. Pig light. Next to the elephant ear. Oh man, he's hurting over here. Turning yellow. But look at the sprouts. We are taking the day off. We're leaving this morning and we're going to walk. The plan is to get to the top of that mountain. Or, excuse me, this one. I don't know. We're going to this one or this one. On top of there is an old Moorish castle. So we're going to try. We have to go find, hook up with the road back here and it switch backs. We're on our way out of here, out of the gate to go to the castle. They have some huge fig trees and mostly pine. This is all olives in front of us. This is the place we have to go. Way up there. It's all uphill, obviously. About to crest the top of the hill. We're even closer. Okay, we made it up. I guess we work our way, yeah, up that way. So I don't know how old these ruins are. An old water basin, it's still able to hold water. That's crazy. But I mean, look at the territory. How do you build something like that way up here? How do you build a concrete and stone wall when you have no water on top of a mountain? And that's No dead people in here. Nope. Just a square. Cool, no? Yeah. The lunch spot for today.
way up here on the hill. Look at this juniper. Little bonsai. Shooting a time lapse of quite a less in the village. There's this big cloud pouring over. Come on, big face. No, oh, get it. Oh, there it is. And we made it. That's the one we went to. Back to the finca. It is blazing in here. We're at 18.5 in the house and 9. Today might be the day I've been waiting for here. Strong wind today. And there's a road that will drop right on the other side of that beach. Pump up down there and then zigzag, just downwind the whole thing, zigzag back and forth, all the way to the beach. Even the donkeys watch. Josh doing his thing out there. Well, I don't know if I was foiling or just flailing. I wiped out like basically continuously. <laughs> Found an island by smashing into it. Uh, wrecked pretty bad into some rocks. Took a big hit right there, but it's okay. It's just scratched. Tail got a little scratched, but nothing's broken. That's good. Gabrielle painted the underside here. Looks good. sure that I do a good job. This little house here. We prepped the top with fiberglass paint and now a rubber paint comes on top of it. Look at Irene getting down on the roof up here. Got it primed. Now she's rubber painting it. I dare you stick your head in there. Where? In the tree? <laughs> no, in that paint bucket. It's looking good. Next to the pomegranate tree. This is Gabriella. She's down there working as well. Time to work over here in this area. We're going to cut this lip off. All my dust flew down into Irene's painting down there. You happy, Bo? Oh, in her face, too. Fiberglassing, where my wood was very rotten, oh. with rubber paint. <laughs> Looks good. Using this stuff. Cool. Finish the drip edge on this part of the house. This is now painted and cut straight across. This is drip edged, and we have all the way down the sides down as well. So Gabrielle, are you happy with it? I'm delighted. <laughs> I'm delighted. Okay, I'm great. Now look, Irene failed, let Jackie in, and Guapo, I was standing at the door and I opened it to pet him, and then he's put his foot on me and oh, I, I caved both. in. I want to have dinner. To 
tomatoes have survived and they're starting to look deficient. So it's time to mix up some hydro stuff for them. Make them some food today. See what happens. Let's see they're looking pretty strong. I noticed I have another one out here who's producing a little bit of damage to the end. Tips are burning. I'm literally sleeping with them. There's my bed and they're above my head at night to keep them warm. So I'm gonna go ahead and dose them and see how they start to look this week. You can see him starting to form roots. Yeah, you can see his leaves here are showing deficiencies. Biking today. We made it to this beach. I don't know what it's called. Cala de Finistrat? Maybe this is it. Finistrat. Finistrat. I don't know. They have a little market. Supposedly there's a street that goes to Benidorm. We're going to try and find that. Went around the hill and arrived at the beach in Benidorm. This place is gigantic. We're going to try and bike over to that far mountain over there, just down the, down the beach. It definitely looks like the old town in front of us. That's These awesome right. trees. And they have a really cool fruit on it. I don't know what that is. It's very interesting. And look at all these birds. They're all in the tree. They're everywhere down here. Going through the old town. Geek bikes.